Hello and welcome to the University of Surrey. This video will explain to you about the IT services available to support research students. Our services. Your university account gives you access to a range of IT services. We have the following desktop systems, Linux, Windows and Mac. You also have access to HPC services. A wide range of software is available and most of it is for free. You will receive email storage of 100 gigabytes and OneDrive personal file storage of one terabyte. There is wired and wireless access to the internet on campus and there is remote access and virtual desktop service for off-campus access. There is online library resources and if you visit My Surrey, you'll find out all the information about what IT support is available to you. Your IT account. Your university username and password gives you access to most systems and services. You will need to use the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile phone when logging into university services. First, you need to activate your account, then set up your Microsoft multi-factor authentication. Next, set up your self-service password reset. Once set up, you can change or reset your password at any time via the links on My Surrey. Your account details are for your use only. IT will never ask you for your password. Please visit it.surrey.ac.uk for full instructions. The internet. Whilst studying at Surrey, you can connect your personal devices to the university's wireless network. Secure wireless internet access is available on campus using Eduroam. Visit My Surrey for details on how to connect. Guest Wi-Fi is also available for visitors. The wired service. There is high speed wired network to your desk of one gigabytes and um, between buildings, it's 10 gigabytes. Microsoft Office 365 is available for free to all students. Download it on up to five personal devices from surrey365.surrey.ac.uk. Email. Email and calendar provide you with 100 gigabytes of storage. Your university email is the main point of contact between you and the university, so please check it regularly. You can access email from any device connected to the internet. Please log into your email by visiting surrey365.surrey.ac.uk. You can download the mobile app to access from your phone. For more information about how to access Surrey 365 is on, available on My Surrey. Remote access. Most services, including email, MySurrey, Teams, OneDrive, Office 365, and some web services can be accessed from anywhere with a good internet connection. Download the MySurrey app onto your mobile for quick access to all the most useful university services. The remote access service is called Global Protect. Instructions about how to connect are at it.surrey.ac.uk. Services requiring remote access include library resources, journals and exam papers, and the printing online payment system. We also have SSH servers you can use to get access to services. Two-factor authentication will be needed when logging into access.eps.surrey.ac.uk. To access physical Linux lab machines remotely, you can use remotelabs.eps.surrey .ac.uk provided you are connected to Global Protect. HPC resources are accessible remotely as long as you're connected to Global Protect at eureka2-ondemand.surrey.ac.uk. Saving your files. There are a number of file storage options available to you at the University of Surrey. Please visit the summary guidance um, on SurreyNet to understand the full breadth of what is available. Always use University of Surrey provided file storage. We don't recommend using or purchasing external hard drives as a primary storage location. Please only use this option to transfer or backup data. This option is not backed up and can be stolen, lost or fail. We don't recommend using commercial cloud storage such as Google Docs or Dropbox. They may not comply with research funders rules and or may breach GDPR rules. If there is a business case that requires using these options, authorization must be sought from the University of Surrey Data Protection Officer. Saving your files. All PhD students are provided with one terabyte of personal file storage using OneDrive. With OneDrive, you can share files and access them anywhere with a good internet connection. This space is secure and is backed up frequently. 
We recommend that you use this for all your important non-research work documents. When you leave the university, the files in your OneDrive will be purged to protect your personal data. If using HPC, you will need the dedicated HPC storage. Your OneDrive is not accessible from HPC services. If you are actively involved in research, OneDrive may not meet your funder's data management requirements. Research students should check with their supervisors about whether their data needs to be stored securely in a shared folder. For project and research storage space, research students can apply for shared files and folders by visiting filestorage.surrey.ac.uk. If you need large storage spaces, please contact IT services. To access your project and research storage space, visit filestorage.surrey.ac.uk. Printing. Printing, photocopying and scanning is available across campus. Your printing account will be preloaded with an initial credit. Once this is used up, you can add more money via the link surrey.ac.uk forward slash print credits and use your university account details. On campus, if you're printing, send a document. Um, if you're sending a document to a university printer and you're on campus and you're using a university lab PC, select Surrey Print from the printer options. If you're on campus and using a mobile phone or tablet, please use mobile printing or web printing. If you are on campus and using a personal laptop or PC, download Surrey Print onto your personal device. Do not use mobile or web printing on campus from a personal laptop or PC. If you are off campus using your own device, you'll need to use web printing or mobile printing. All print jobs are held in a central queue for up to 72 hours and can be collected from any of the hundreds of MFDs on campus by swiping your campus card on the multifunctional device and using the touch screen to press print. Visit it.surrey.ac.uk forward slash printing hyphen campus for full instructions. Virtual workspaces. Transform your device into a virtual university workspace so you have the same experience as you would if you were using a PC on campus. This service gives you access to your university Windows workspace from anywhere with a good internet connection. To access the service, visit workspaces.surrey.ac.uk. Which workspace do I use? The virtual workspace. This is the standard offering which contains most of the university software you may require. This includes Office, IBM, SPSS and MATLAB to name a few. Enhanced workspace. The enhanced pool offers a GPU accelerated desktop environment, which includes most engineering related packages such as ANSYS, SAP 2000 and AutoCAD. Software and apps. IT services offer a wide variety of software in the computer labs on campus, as well as licensed software for your own device. Access software across a range of operating systems for free at appstore.surrey.ac.uk. Log in using your university account details. Applications are delivered to your computer in minutes. As a student at Surrey, you can download Microsoft Office 365. You will also be eligible for several offers and discounts on Apple, Microsoft and Dell products. IT security. Everyone is responsible to practice good cybersecurity to protect yourself and your fellow students at the university. The number of attacks on universities is rising. We are committed to maintaining the highest standards of cybersecurity certification to reinforce and demonstrate our defensive capabilities. Everyone must complete essential security training to help you recognise the risks and know what actions to take. Password. When you create your university password, you should ensure it has a unique password so that you do not use it anywhere else. Ensure your password does not contain easy to guess information such as your birthday or pet's name. Never share your password. Never write your password down. Phishing. If you receive an email that seems suspicious, report it to IT using the report fish button in your Outlook. Do not respond. Do not click on the links or open any attachments. Do not forward it to anyone other than IT. If you are unsure if the email is or is not suspicious, always ask IT to confirm. You should not investigate the email yourself. Protecting your data. Ensure your university files are stored in OneDrive so they are backed up and protected. Personal files should not be stored in OneDrive as you will no longer have access to this after you graduate. Updating your machine. It is important to ensure your device is up to date at all times. 
Instructions on how to check the status of your machine can be found at My Surrey. Antivirus. Please ensure you have adequate virus protection in place on your device. Further instructions can be found on My Surrey. IT procurement. You may have some involvement with the purchasing of IT hardware or software. Surrey has various EU, national and regional procurement agreements for the supply of various goods and services. For example, desktops and laptops from Dell, peripherals from Insight and XMA. Do not purchase IT equipment with your personal money or credit card. Please contact IT support with your requirements and we will guide you through the process. All require budget holder approval and IT sign off. IT equipment and suitability and cost. Seek advice from your supervisor first and then IT can advise on hardware requirements, new laptops and desktops, specialist equipment such as VR, HPC. Software. Identify existing solutions, purchasing new software, reviewing licensing agreement, freeware isn't always free, usability and compatibility advice. IT can provide support in all of these areas. We can also provide um, multi-team resources that can offer expertise in many different areas. Our research services. There's a range of existing services that focus on compute and data intensive workloads, running simulations, processing large quantities of data, storing large data sets and collaboration. Research file storage. There's on-premise research file storage supporting computational work. Data is backed up and protected. There is high capacity, two petabytes. High performance, common areas for research groups or projects, compute servers directly connected. And the storage web form to use is filestorage.surrey.ac.uk forward slash storage forward slash sign in. Drop off sharing files. What is drop off? Transfer files to collaborators up to 50 gigabytes large. Upload files and add recipients. There's inter you can send them to internal and external collaborators. It's temporary on-premise storage. The data is encrypted. You can receive confirmation your file has been picked up. Data is automatically deleted after 31 days. You visit dropoff.surrey.ac.uk. Do not be confused with Dropbox. Please don't use Dropbox. Compute services, HPC and HTC. High performance computing, we use Eureka and Eureka 2, mainly for parallel simulations, multi-core and multi-node. It's dedicated high performance parallel storage systems. Currently, Eureka and Eureka 2 has 4,200 plus cores. There's guest access so you could try before you buy. Buy nodes and increase your fair share. Request a quote from IT. HPC resources are accessible remotely, provided you are connected to Global Protect via eureka2-ondemand.surrey.ac.uk. High throughput computing, HT Condor. GPU compute and data intensive workloads. AI at Surrey is a dedicated Condor pool for AI workloads, coupled with high performance Weka powered storage systems. GitLab, great for coders. GitLab is a code repository where you can do versioning, branching and issues. Multiple users collaborate on shared code base, distribute code. There are internal and external collaborators. There are around 5,500 repositories and around 3,000 users. IT service status. Visit itstatus.surrey.ac.uk before contacting the IT service desk for help. You should check the IT service status page first for current issues. The page lists any current issues, updates and plan maintenance. If the issue you are experiencing is listed there, check back for updates on when it's been restored. If the issue you are experiencing is not listed, then you'll need to contact the IT service desk. IT help. Save time and check the IT service status page first before you report an issue. You can also use live chat via My Surrey, the IT pages at it.surrey.ac.uk. You can phone us on 01483 689898 or on campus from an internal phone, dial extension 9898. You could visit us on campus in the library on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays between 10am and 2pm 
or you can email us at itservicedesk at surrey.ac.uk. All calls are logged and you will receive a unique request number. Please provide as much information as you think is useful, including details of your request or error with screenshots if possible. Remember to include your contact number and email. Please do not send emails to individual IT staff directly. There is also a University of Surrey Research Computing Community Teams group, which you are welcome to join. For further help regarding timetables, please email timetablehelp at surrey.ac.uk. For Surrey Learn help, please email surreylearnhelp at surrey.ac.uk. For Surrey self-service help, please email studentsystems at surrey.ac.uk. And please do stay in touch. We will try to keep you informed of system events, updates and issues using the IT status page and social media. Please follow us on Twitter at Uni of Surrey IT.